guys you are welcome in my youtube channel for subscribe click here and for more option to get the notification you can choose send me all notification for this channel click save go again you see here you're notified mobile only go to manage settings and choose mobile and email assalamu alaikum hi guys how are you i hope you are fine i'm so glad to come back again to you with the third part of my tutorial which is the topics is cube configuration with sip connection uh, as you see here we finished with the first part we talked about design the second part part number two we talk about basic configuration and translation and translation rule so we finish this we finish this translation rule yes and we finish basic configuration now the third part or part number three we are going to talk about translation profiles and application of translation profiles actually i cannot just speak translation profiles alone without application of translation profiles you will see this application of translation profile i will include the dial pairs but i made it separate why because dial pairs i need to explain it separately because there is many things i want to explain about this dial pairs but first of all i want to just to talk about the application of translation profile so if you remember we created translation rule the last video uh, that translation rule i told you it will not work alone you have to make translation profiles and also translation profiles is useless if you didn't apply this translation profile inside correct dial peer what i mean correct i will show you what i mean just later on just explanation what i mean that that, that what i mean about that the di correct dial pair just we can just uh, go back for last one just for quick view this is my this is our last uh, slide from uh, last video which is a translation rule so we created master translation rule just quick revision and uh, we under this master rule we created three sub rules rule number one two and three if the first rule doesn't match we'll go to that second rule if the second rule doesn't match we'll go to the third rule and if you remember the the did number from the service provider is zero one two three four five six and any three digits number one 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 two three something like that and we explain this one what does it mean the rule number one two and three so now i create this translation rule but until now i didn't apply this one why i where i need it i need it for calling or called this calling and called actually it's related to translation profile so let's go to translation profiles translation profiles and translation and application of translation profile before that you have to to go here yes better and as you see here this is my voice translation profile in so this is the command you have to type voice translation minus profile then you have to call it whatever name you can call it in out test just i call it in to be clear more clear for me to know this one which is for in for out is it for in or is it for out that's why i call it in then i want to translate this profile to be like called one what is one if you remember this is the master rule the master rule number is rule number one not the sub rules if you see this is sub rule one two three no this number is related to the master 
rule. Okay, so what does it mean by trans? I want to translate number one as a cold, not as a calling. You have two options. You can make it as a cold or as a calling. But here I choose as a cold. Why? Because if you remember, uh, I need to translate the external number. I need to translate my DID to be like about four extension number inside the COCM. So I needed for N. This is what I just like imagine for N and cold, not calling. What does it mean cold or calling? Actually, this one also it has two meanings. Everyone has two meanings. This one has two meanings, and this one also has two meanings. It depends. How did you apply this translation profile inside the dial pair, which we'll call this the application of translation profile. So translation profile is useless al alone. Now you now you understand why because I have cold and calling. Cold and calling has two meanings. Everyone has two meanings. It depends how I use it inside the dial pair. So I created actually in my configuration if you if you will go to my our configuration here yes I create just the first dial pair voice number one one it's any number it's not it's like uh, just like uh, must be one no it should be it could be two or three whatever it's not just like a fixed number and this is VoIP. It's not POTS. Sometimes you will find POTS. This one later I will just make a new tutorial, inshallah, about this one. How to configure the voice gateway with POTS, not with SIP. So, but here is we are working with SIP. So we are going to use VoIP command. Okay. Always, always make like a description. Just to be more easy for you. Okay. Uh, for understanding why you create this dial pair and why you need it. Just make description. It will be easier for you. So I did this exception, uh, description, sorry. I call this dial pair I needed for incoming call from SIP trunk. This one, don't worry about this one. This uh, the one dial pair inbound. I will just explain it later about what, what, do, I mean, what, the, what do I mean about this ex uh, description. Later with the dial pair part number three, part, uh, part four, sorry, of this tutorial, I will I will uh, just explain it, but just focus on this tutorial and this part. So, incoming call from CP trunk. So, now I need this dial pair for incoming call from CP trunk, okay? Now, I just create translation profile which I which I just created in you remember let's go to the blackboards yes here this is I create this voice translation profile in yes okay then here let's just change the color okay then here I said this translation profile what I created here with the name n this is n Okay, I need to apply it for incoming. Now, I think the idea should be clear for you. So I, here I choose cold, okay, and here I choose incoming. So cold, it could be for incoming or outgoing. Okay, the same thing, if I used here calling, It could be for incoming, I can use here incoming or outgoing. So it depends. So here I used for incoming. So I just, you, I, do, I use this translation profile with the name N, which I used called to use translation rule number one for called, not calling. And I used for incoming. What does it mean? To be more clear for you, we will go to other slide. Okay, this slide, it's very important in this part of this tutorial. It's very, very important. 
if you understand this, it will be easy for you later. So, what does it mean? If you apply the translation profile on the outgoing, on the dial peer, so if you remember, our dial peer, in the dial, inside dial peer, sorry, this is uh, here, yes, let's change the color. Okay, if you remember inside the dial peer, I can make outgoing or incoming. Okay, out or in, outgoing or incoming. So if I apply the translation profile, what I created, translation profile in, you remember? Translation profile in. If I apply this translation profile in the outgoing on the dial peer, so I choose outgoing, then calling it has different meaning and called it has different meaning. Then calling, if I used calling here inside my translation profile, that means is the internal user. Okay, so the calling here, it means internal user which is inside the CUCM. And if I used called, like what I did, that mean is external number you dialed. So external number I dialed. For example, if I am just uh, inside the CUCM, inside my network, and I want to uh, dial the external number, that means this is external number I dialed. So I think this is not my scenario because I need the DID to be translated. So here is not my scenario. The second one, second scenario, here we are going to focus on it. Here, if I apply the translation profile in the incoming on the dial peer, so if I used N in the dial peer, so if I took this, my translation profile, which called N, and apply it inside the dial peer as incoming. Then called, you remember I used call. Then called number is the DID that was dialed. So this is what I need because I need that DID number to be translated. So I chose just uh, this called, not calling because calling is a uh, number is the external caller is the number of the external callers. So I don't want to translate the number of external callers. For example, my number is 015678, okay? I don't want to translate my number because in my translation rule, if you remember, I want to translate my number, my group number, my company number, which I took it from the service provider. So here, I want to use called not calling, because called is the number of the DID. So this is what I need. So I took my translation profile and I applied and applied it inside my dial peer as incoming, not as out, outgoing. So if you go there to our slide again, you will see. So I apply inside incoming, you remember? So incoming, that means the dialed, the called number, because here is called and here is incoming. That means the dial number is the DID. Okay? So, because I need to translate the DID. And if you remember, I have three sub rules. Yes? Then I have to create three dial peer voices. So, I create one here, which match this rule three, four, five, six, and three dots, any three digit number. And the second voice or the second dial peer, it's for zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think you remember dot, dot, dot. And the third one I did, couldn't just add it because it's too much big. The third one is here, the same thing. Okay, so three of them, I apply them inside like incoming. Okay, and I choose translation profile for cold. So, cold and incoming, that means my color DID number, I want to translate it. So, that rules, it's very important to understand it, what I explained it for you before. Okay, 
So this is about the translation rules. Don't worry about these things. Uh, these things I will make a separate video to explain what does it mean like uh, DTMF relay, what is Coli, what, what does it mean codec. This is the codec you remember we took it from the SIP provider. I have to put it the same codec because this codec I took it from them. So this is like, if you remember, let's go again to our configuration file. I want just to show you translation rule. This I created three sub rules, okay? This is one master and under it, this one master, three sub rules. So if this one doesn't match, go to the next one and doesn't match, go to the third one. Okay, then I took this master, which is number one, here is number one, and I create and I create like translation profile, I call it N, whatever the name you can call it. And I want to apply this one as a code. So I want to apply the translation pro, translation rule number one or master one, like as a code. Then I took it and I apply it inside the dial peer. Actually, you can apply it inside dial peer or inside the interface which connect to it. There is many ways to do this, but here is our scenario we connected inside the dial peer. So I took the translation profile in and I apply it as incoming. Why? Because I need to translate the DID. If you remember <clears throat> the two rules for application of translation profile, you will understand this. So here I created three dial peers, dial peer voice number one, number two, number three, because I have three conditions, I have three sub rules to be translated. So this is the whole thing in the part two of my tutorial, part, sorry, part three in my tutorial. I hope to see you again in the part number four. See you until next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.